welcome to this video where I will be sharing my hacking journey and progress on Try Hack Me over the course of 365 days. This journey not only discusses my achievements but also highlights the growth and learning experiences I have gone through throughout my hacking journey. Before delving into the details of my 365-day journey on Try Hack Me, let me first provide some background information about myself. I had a strong programming background and had completed theoretical courses on cybersecurity from IBM, as well as achieved my Google IT professional certification. Although I initially attempted Try Hack Me during the advent of Cyber 3 event, I found it difficult to learn without a subscription that would provide more consistent access. Prior to delving into Try Hack Me, I was dealing with a significant depression that lasted for approximately 5 to 6 months, during which time I was unable to learn or focus on anything due to my mental state. However, things turned around when during Ramadan in 2022, I entered a Try Hack Me premium giveaway hosted by Aditya, not expecting much. To my surprise, I was lucky enough to win the voucher. After Eid, I eagerly redeemed the voucher and began my journey on Try Hack Me on May 9, 2022. By dedicating 6 to 8 hours to daily practice on Try Hack Me for one month, I was able to achieve 3 certifications and earn 12 badges. Two of these badges were particularly notable, a king badge and a 30-day streak. After my Try Hack Me subscription ended, I was unable to continue my learning until I could afford to renew it. In the meantime, I participated in free CTFs to keep up my skills, also renewed the subscription after some days. It was during this time that I learned about TCM's PNPT Live course and decided to attend. The course consisted of two sessions every week, on Wednesdays and Fridays. Those who maintained attendance throughout the course would receive free access to five of TCM's courses that could help them prepare for the PNPT exams. These courses covered various topics, including OSINT, bash scripting, and penetration testing methodologies. The course was incredibly informative and challenging, and it helped me further hone my skills in ethical hacking. I began my note-taking journey by hand, writing down everything from my Google IT certification to try hack me learning on hard copy. However, during the PNPT Live classes, I found it difficult to keep up with the pace of learning while also taking notes on important website links and taking screenshots. It was then that I decided to give Notion a try and started taking notes on my computer. During this time, I also began to develop my confidence and made some new friends from the cybersecurity community, learning from their experiences and insights. After some more dedication on Try Hack Me, I earned three more certifications and achieved the second rank on Try Hack Me in my country. At this point, I can confidently say that I have learned so much that I wouldn't have been able to if I had just stuck to theory. I also wanted to improve my coding skills, so I decided to create an account on Hacker Rank. I achieved a 90-day streak badge and even won a Shodan membership from OSINT Dojo for successfully answering their weekly OSINT challenge. With my membership, I gained API access to Shodan and planned to create tools centered around its capabilities. In August, I was accepted into the EJPT version 2 beta testing program, which gave me access to the whole content for free, along with an exam voucher. You can check out my article on Medium to know more about my EJPT version 2 experience. As a side story, while attending the PNPT Live classes and learning from Try Hack Me, I found myself with only 20 days to prepare for the EJPT version 2 exams using the PTSV2 course content. Luckily, I had already covered most of the content through Try Hack Me, so I just needed to speed up my learning process. However, I had yet to learn about pivoting, which was a topic not covered in Try Hack Me. As a result, I focused on this skill in the limited time I had left. I also participated in the Trace Labo Synth CTF, which was an incredible experience. It was challenging and rewarding to use OSINT techniques to locate real missing people. This event allowed me to apply my knowledge of OSINT in a practical way and learn new techniques from other participants. I received a premium voucher for Try Hack Me in October and delved into the offensive pen testing path, focusing on learning buffer overflow. I created an automation tool to remind me of the steps required during BOF exploitation. In December, I applied for the Udacity Cybersecurity Nanodegree Program Scholarship, but unfortunately, I was not selected. However, I remained optimistic about the many opportunities available to me in the field of cybersecurity. From January to March, I faced some personal issues that hindered my progress in cybersecurity. However, I kept up with my studies by dedicating at least one or two days a week to learning from various Try Hack Me rooms, collecting flags to maintain my streak, and motivating myself to learn more about hacking and cybersecurity. After March, I began the Cisco Junior Cybersecurity Analyst Path and received a free course on CSI Linux Investigator. The world of cybersecurity is vast and there is always something new to explore and learn. 
This past year has been a valuable journey for me in hacking and there is still so much more to discover. My main goal in sharing my journey with you is to inspire and encourage you, no matter how tough or down you might feel. If you aspire to excel in the cybersecurity industry but are unsure of where to begin, try Hack Me as an excellent starting point. By diving into their vast array of engaging and practical cybersecurity challenges, you'll not only acquire the foundational knowledge and skills needed to succeed, but you'll also gain valuable insight into the industry as a whole. Building a network in your field is crucial for success. Surround yourself with intelligent and skilled professionals who can inspire and teach you. Remember, you are the average of the people you surround yourself with. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful or informative, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Your support will motivate me to create more videos and share my knowledge and experience with others.